Hey guys, we got some pretty darn extreme changes in the tadpole tanks. We're going to go check them out right away because I'm just so darn excited right now. Hopefully you guys can be excited about it as well. Um, this is week five, by the way. Uh, I've had these tadpoles for a month, and I've had these tadpoles for at least five weeks. These guys are probably about a month old, maybe up to five weeks old. And I'm pretty sure I found them like right after they hatched. So, let's get going. Let's go check them out really quick. Uh, if you just notice all the tadpoles, just overall, no extreme changes to the aquarium at all. Uh, I will likely drain it slightly. I mean, I've got room for them to go on top of things like the shell and the black thing. That's not really that steep either. So they can go up there if they want to. Uh, but... I want to leave enough water for the rest of them still, so I don't want to drain it a lot. And I feel like, you know, it's a pretty reasonable amount of water in there right now, and I can still change it just a little bit. So once we zoom in slightly, I think it's better if we zoom in from the top here without any water in the way. Uh, you can start to see a lot of them have uh, back legs, like this guy right here. Probably about 30% uh, of them have like big back legs, and I would say probably 60 to 70% of them have like at least little back leg stubs. Even if they're really, really small, they're still already getting their legs, which is kind of weird if you ask me. I wouldn't expect that to happen that way. I'd expect it to be like they have to get to a certain size before they start growing the legs, but that doesn't really seem to be the case. Some are just bigger and some are just smaller. So that's that's like what they look like. I know I just kind of tried to use the, the black background as an example. It's kind of hard to see the rest of them, you know, it's just, it's just tough. But overall, yeah, they're all grown, they're all getting huge, they're all getting awesome and everything. Maybe we can zoom in on some of these guys over here. Again, you can tell that the aquarium is just slightly dirty. I don't really like it, but that's just what we have to deal with. And then we've got, I think, let's see if I can find them. We've got two fancy guys over here with front legs. Oh my goodness gracious. Where is he? There he is. There's the front legger. I think I got two or maybe three of them that are actually like turning into, they actually look like frogs. You can tell the difference between the ones on the right over there and this guy right here. He's got front legs. He's starting to actually change into like a froggish shape. The eyes are starting to go on the side instead of the top more. And he actually does like move his legs around and everything. And he's also starting to uh, like ribbit a little bit more, I suppose. I know the other ones like move their mouth, but this guy actually like moves like his entire cheek or whatnot. So there's still a couple more. This one's, I believe this one's even more frog-like. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Uh, this guy right here, he's even more frog-like than the other one. Frog-like. Can tell the difference? There's a tadpole there. Frog there. <laughs> Pretty cool though. I, I mean, it's just exciting. Um, though I will admit that none of them have come out of the water yet. Which I'm still kind of confused by. They're still like completely gill gill filled there's no lungs yet or they haven't been uh, going to the top yet to, to get any air and I definitely have some spots for them to go if they feel like it so it seems like it's taking a little bit longer for them to go out of the water than I would have expected I would expect at this point they'd be coming out of the water every once in a while or just kind of maybe at least chilling near the top but nope not the case so again just looking at the tank that's all the tadpoles all the way down I probably have about 60 to 70 of them that's like my best guess and uh, they're all changing. None of them seem unhealthy, except for there's two of them that are really, really small. And I just don't know what's going to happen to them. If if they're taking way too long to change, I probably will release them. I'm not going to kill them or anything, but I'll release them back in the pond, and hopefully they can uh, figure things out. But they're just too small. They're, they really are. I don't. I want to drain the water a little bit more uh, in, in about two weeks or so, or, or maybe even a week or so. These guys are changing fast, extremely fast. Now, moving on to the other tadpole tank, the bullfrog tank. We've got some pretty darn amazing changes over here as well. Um, so, let's look at the, the entire tank first. First of all, if you look at it, I drained it to about 30% of, of what I can have it as. And that's so I can use this filter and just so they can get out of the water if they want. I changed from a back filter to an inside the tank filter and it works really, really well. The sad thing is, is it kind of pulls their lettuce around a little bit when I feed them, so I have to turn it off when I feed them and then I just turn it on after about an hour and a half or so so I can, you know, let them eat whatever they want and then the, the filter can just suck it up, suck up whatever they don't eat, which you can see is right there in the filter. Or kind of stuck on the outside of the filter, I guess. But I've got some really cool changes. I moved everything over to the right, so I gave like I left a big area of water over here, so they can still swim around if they want. But uh, there's a couple of different areas where they can kind of go up slants over here. They can walk up that little black slate, um, get over to there, and get up there, and get over that way. That's a very very easy like low slanted way for them to get up. Or they can hop up this log right here, which I found outside. I sanded it down just a little bit so they wouldn't wouldn't cut themselves, and. Uh, uh, 
I, I mean, I think I think they might climb it. I've seen them hiding underneath it a little bit, but they haven't really climbed up it yet. But again, I don't think they're at that level yet. If those other frogs have their front legs and everything, and they're not even coming out of the water yet, I assume these guys are not going to come out for at least a little while. But, check it out. This guy's got some pretty intense legs. He's, like, lifting himself up right now. Pretty darn sweet. His tail is still freaking gigantic, though. Look at that tail. He just looks gigantic for having legs like that. You just wouldn't expect it. This guy finally has front legs. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. He's so derpy and cute. That's Chris, by the way. He's, he's really, really cool looking. You can tell his eyes are starting to move from, like, the top ish to like the side I don't know it's kind of hard to explain but you can tell his eyes are just changing locations a little bit which is kind of cool but uh the legs they literally popped out in one night so last night I looked at him and there was nothing there there was just black spots and then overnight boom they popped out so just giant legs they kind of like pop out and like they're, I guess they like form inside the body they're like pockets uh, of legs and then they just pop out all, all at once I, I guess it's just weird to have little baby legs that they could, like, injure or, or mess up or something like that. So they end up just having big, big legs as soon as they can. But very, very cool. I'm super duper excited. Again, I don't think he's going to pop out of the water anytime soon. So maybe I just, you know, I guess change the tank around a little bit quick. But it's better to be too quick than too slow and have them drown, for sure. This guy still, you know, like I said, he's got really, really tiny legs. Nothing special. He's still going to be swimming around for a little while, but he finally, look at that, he actually moved it a little bit. Wouldn't expect him to move it with such a small leg. Um, so, one other thing that I want to point out really quick is just kind of like explaining like what, what actually happens with those tadpoles. So what I, what I think happens, which hopefully this is like a good enough way to do it, is like they have their arms kind of like this, and then once they finally have, like, at, like inside their body, and then as soon as they want to pop it out, what they'll do is they'll like chop some sort of membrane or it like just detaches and it just goes bloop and they have arms already. So it like they form inside their body and then it's just like boop, they have legs. And that's why it's so interesting because they just pop out instantaneously. You wouldn't expect that to happen. But that's all I'm going to have for you guys today. So if you enjoyed the video, press the like button and have a super duper delicious day.